afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo and Parkway RV Center. Got another really nice little affordable fifth wheel we're going to review today. And I guys, I know I've been doing a lot of towables lately, but you got to realize we sell a lot of towables. And this is just one of my fifth wheel lots right here alone. Um, but I'll get back some motor home soon. But today I got this one in. I wanted to shoot it because I don't get to shoot many of these small fifth wheels very often. These are kind of hard to find on the used market. And this is a uh, 2012 Rockwood Signature Ultralight. It's the 8244 uh, course Signature Series WS. This is a double slide fifth wheel. It's only 26 and a half feet long only weighs 6630 pounds so guys this is pretty much one you can tow with a half ton now let me go ahead and caution you not all half tons are the same there that's probably more variety in what a half ton can do uh, depending on the year make model engine equipment things like that than uh, any other brand of truck out there so a lot more to towing a fifth wheel with a half ton than just a weight You've got to take in consideration bed size, hitch type, and more. So, um, and of course, tongue weight and all that good stuff. So there's there's a little bit more to it than just saying all oh, my truck can tow 6,600 pounds, no problem. There's more to it, but it does have the extended hitch, and it is the reset uh, revolution trub. And got the front fiberglass cap. You know, and all this thing's in good shape for a 2012. You know, if I had to pick it to death, when it warms up this spring, I'd probably throw a good uh, coat of wax on it. But it is a full body paint. Uh, somebody really caulked it up good right there, but I'd rather see that than not see it. Because, uh, you know, if, if it looked like that without caulk on it, you'd have uh, leak problems. But very, very light camper, all vacuum bonded walls all the way around. Got the power jacks in the front has 30 amp electrical power D double slides both with awning toppers and like i said it's only 26 and a half feet long so very very short for a fifth wheel especially compared to most of them that i usually film got the double axle um with the alloy wheels tires look great you can see guys a uh, little streaked over here probably like i said a good coat of wax would do wonders for this thing double slide but check out this price guys 199 a lot of fifth wheel for the money does have the frameless windows so a little bit less maintenance involved there as far as your yearly maintenance as far as coffin windows things like that looking around it here on the back you do have a spare tire on the back big rear window roof access ladder does have the fold out tray so you can put your bicycle a bicycle on it or firewood coolers generator whatever you want to put does have the step above fold up steps that actually store inside your um your camper does have the power stabilizer jacks on the back make it a little easier to set up power awning a lot of equipment on this little Little guy, got the gas hookup out here for a grill. Got outside speakers. Um, not bad. And this is the smallest one they build too. So you know, if you want a Rockwood, if you want a 2012 Rockwood fifth wheel and you want the smallest one you can get, this is it right here. Let's look inside. Now, one thing I want to point out that the previous owners or owners have changed Oh, that heat feels good. Another reason I did this one, guys, because it has propane on it. I've got the furnace on. Furnace. Oh, that feels great. It is, like I said, it is under 30 degrees right now. We don't get cold weather like this very often down here in Georgia. Only a few days a year. But first thing I want you to point out, I want to point out is this red sofa. This is not factory. Uh, it either had two chairs back here or a sleeper sofa. And I don't know if the previous owner just wanted, just liked the color or had the flaking furniture problem like so many of them did back then and just stuck this futon in here. So it does flip down, make a little bed if you want it to. Um, you know, I'm gonna leave it in here. You know, at 19.9, obviously I'm not gonna replace it, but um, 
you know, you, you can leave us in here. You can put yourself in here, a couple of chairs, a desk, whatever you want to put back here, guys. And it, it will actually go in and out the door pretty easy. So, but other than that, everything looks original. Um, cabinets look great. Does have a ceiling fan, uh, table and chairs in the slide out. Television still in here, all the electronics, radio works, got an XM radio too if you want to subscribe to it. Radio works. Kitchen, because it's a signature, it's got the solid surface countertops. And, um, oh boy, it feels good in here. I'm going to tell you guys, you know, I love stepping into a nice air conditioned room after being out in the heat all day in the summertime, but nothing feels better temperature wise. Then being outside in cold, cold weather and stepping into a nice hot camper or a nice room and just, whew, it make you want to take a nap. It just feels great. Um, but anyway, um, countertops look great. These are all Corian solid surface countertops. You've got a Magic Chef microwave. It seems like it works. I've lit the stove top. When I first came in here just to check the gas system, it works. Uh, refrigerator six cubic foot nor cold it's very very clean because we haven't cleaned this coach yet guys this is just how it came in and you can see guys there's no signs of this being like a live-in unit or anything like that because you would normally see with live-in units you'll see scrapes on the uh, grates from people taking stuff in and out of it all the time constantly and there's no scrapes or anything like that so right there tells me chances are this hasn't been a live-in and we do guarantee even though this thing's 199 we still guarantee roof air conditioner to function like it should we guarantee the refrigerator freezer to get the operating temp we guarantee the slide outs to go in and out like they should and then, of course i'll i'll tell you everything else i've checked every single light bulb in this thing works every single light fixture the radio works uh wasn't any remote uh, batteries in the remote for the TV, so I don't know if the TV works, but you know, that's the cheapest thing you can buy for one. Um, I don't know what it is. They just seem like they hardly ever put a uh, manual controls on them anymore. But actually, yeah, it comes on. Cool. So, yeah, I'm going to assume the TV works. At least it comes on and lights up. I just thought about those manual controls while I was saying that. Furnace works great. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, this furnace. You know, I know people that live in these things say, oh, you got to run these kind of heater, that kind of heater. Nothing heats one up quicker or better than the factory furnace. You know, I know they're expensive to run with propane like that is, but whew, when it's, you know, those electric heaters are fine until it gets really really cold like this and then then you want to run that furnace because that furnace actually keeps the underbelly in your plumbing um from freezing so you know electric heaters you know uh, electric heaters set inside are not going to do that but the furnace will all right you've got a front bedroom of course this is a low profile fifth wheel to cut down on the weight and the drag and the aerodynamics and all that so you're not going to stand up straight much past this batten strip I'm six foot four and I'm bumping my head right here, but here I'm not. And I'm just past this strip. So pretty much this right here to where this fantastic vent fan is. And that, that's a cool place to put that because, you know, if you're boondock camping, that runs off 12 volt and you can circulate some air in and out of your RV while you're sleeping without having 110 power. Does have a queen bed, don't have a, I said we haven't cleaned it up yet, so they haven't put a uh, bed spread on it yet. But of course, you can see the mattress looks good. Of course, I always replace the mattress anyway on every every RV I buy. And this is actually, I believe, this is a without measuring. It looks like a sixty by eighty residential queen. So, little trick I like to tell people, especially if you're going to be going between house and camper a lot, is buy. Of course, this is a sort of mattress. This is a pretty nice mattress. Buy the same uh brand and series mattress you have in your home i've done this for years so when you transfer from you know staying in your house to going on a week or two trip 
week or two in your RV, you don't lose any sleep trying to get used to a new mattress. Just put the exact same brand and series mattress in your RV as you got in your home. And I've done that for many years and it's really nice when you just want to jump in one and take off that, uh, you know, you don't, you don't, well, you know, you don't waste the first night or two just getting used to that new mattress and then doing it again when you get home. <laughs> Got a place for a television right here uh, for a small one. Of course, you can pretty much mount it on the wall anywhere. Uh, you got a stand-up shower with the glass surround. Of course, it's winterized. So I got the nozzle unhooked. Skylight looks good. There's no smoke or pet odors in here. No sign of mildew or water damage or odors from water damage. You know, you can always tell when one leaks. It gets that kind of mildew taste to it or smell to it. You do have a nice closet in a slide out right here. So not a huge amount of shortage or storage for this size fifth wheel, but definitely more than most 26 and a half foot fifth wheels are gonna have. And you just pretty much got a toilet closet does have another fantastic fan though that's nice uh, a little cabinet right there and toilet paper holder of course you got a curtain right here if you want to isolate the um, bedroom and bathroom from the rest of the rv and then you got another privacy curtain here again this is a lightweight model so you're not going to have sliding doors and this will then that curtain and this curtain will completely isolate the bathroom from the front bedroom and the rest of the camper Front bedroom, yeah. Anyway, uh, beside the sofa, carpet looks original, flooring looks original. And like I said, guys, this sofa's here, it's, you know, <laughs> it don't match, but hey, hey, it's different. <laughs> Do have the extendable leaf in this table and chairs. And, uh, yep, big boy approved, because I can sit down to this without my gut hitting the, hitting the table. Boy, that, that, that furnace just does an awesome job. Anyway, guys, this unit's 19 dollars and that's a haggle-free firm price. Been a while since I've shot a 19 dollars fifth wheel. And like I said, we still guarantee the major systems to work, the air conditioner. We guarantee the slide-outs to work. We guarantee the refrigerator and freezer to get to operating temp. And it's actually getting there. Of course, it's so cold outside, I, I, I can't say with any certainty. But uh, if I left this thing on for several hours, I should be able to tell if the freezer and refrigerator is getting operating temp. Because right now, it, it, even when they're turned off, they're probably in the 30s right now on the inside of the refrigerator and freezer. But I did run it on gas for a little bit and then switch it over to electric. And there wasn't any blinking light or anything like that or no service light. So... Chances are it's probably fine, but we do guarantee it, so we will fix it if it's not. Anyway, guys, this unit's 19.9 Haggle Free Firm. If you're interested in it, give us a call, 706-965-7929. Um, if you need advice or help on a hitch or something like that, give one of my salespeople a call. They'll try to help you. But like I said, when you're towing with a half ton, there's a little bit more involved than just a weight. Uh, like I said, you got bed size, hitch type, and more other th and of course the hitch weight that you all have to consider and which is all that information as far as like the hitch weight the tank capacities exact measurements of this fifth wheel are on the listing on our website parkwayrvcenter.com so everybody interested in this fifth wheel or everybody that just wants to see my current selection of used fifth wheels go to my website You'll see the video there if I've done one on it. You'll see pictures. You'll see a factory sales brochure. You'll see measurements, dimensions. I guarantee you there's not another dealer website out there that's got more information about used fifth wheels than my site, parkwayrvcenter.com. I take a lot of pride in that, guys. That's a lot of work. I even have an interactive tow guide so you can look up what your truck can tow and uh, there's a link in the video description below to that in the YouTube video description. It's also on our website, again, parkwayrvcenter.com. And I'll put a link to that in the video description below, too, to our fifth wheel page. Got a large selection of used fifth wheels starting at $10,000 and going up from there. And a um, little bit of something for everybody. I don't have many of these small ones like this, guys. These are kind of an oddity. Um, 
So I've got this one for 199. It's actually really nice. Uh, lots of windows in it, big windows on the back and the slide out. I mean, again, guys, this isn't huge like I know some of the fifth wheels I showcase, but this is, and you got to realize, guys, it's 26 and a half feet long. That's not behind the bumper of your truck. Three or four feet of that is going over the bed of your truck. So technically, you've only got 22, 23 feet behind your bumper of camper. And plus, a fifth wheel always going to tow four to one better than a than a travel trailer. You don't have to mess with all the weight distribution bars and sway controller and all that stuff like you do with a with a bumper pull or a travel trailer. So, but again, the downside of that is, you know, it's it costs you more to get your cat your truck set up when you've got a short bed. When I mean short bed, I mean six uh, under six and a half feet long. It's going to cost you more to set up. And I was just talking to a customer about this before I filmed this because they had a really short bed on their truck. You're going to spend more on a, on a hitch setup than you would somebody with a six and a half or an eight foot bed um, on their truck because you got to have slider. You know, they got the sidewinders, you know, if you've got a really short bed. So there's definitely a, uh, you're going to spend a little bit more setting it up, but. It's like I told the guy earlier today, I said, you know, with truck prices like they are, it's going to be a lot cheaper for you to spend a little extra money and get your truck bed set up for a fifth wheel with your short bed than going out and trading your truck for another truck with a longer bed. I mean, it's going to be a whole lot cheaper to do that, to get your truck set up. So if you need assistance with that, uh, one of my salespeople would be glad to help you, 706-965-7929. Thank y'all so much for watching. Smash me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video on this little fifth wheel. I, I, I've actually enjoyed spending some time in here, guys. I don't I don't get to review many of these, again, many of these small fifth wheels. We just don't get many of them in this small a size. Most of them are 30 foot plus, 40 foot plus, um, and anywhere in between. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I love this price point too, guys. This is... You know, I, you know, usually I don't have anything decent at this price point, but here's one right here that's very, very decent. Very well taken care of. But thank you again for watching. Again, call before coming to look to make sure it's available. If you're coming a long distance, you probably want to leave a deposit on it just to be safe. Uh, financing's available with approved credit, down payment. Of course, this thing's priced where you can go to your bank or credit union, get a, a shorter term loan with a lower rate if you wanted to, and payment's not going to be much on a Especially if you pay like I do, pay about 20, 25% down, it's it's not going to be much at all. I mean, you probably go to your bank or credit union and get this thing for a couple hundred bucks a month or less if you've got good credit and get a good rate and all that stuff. So, And and that's, you know, without getting into like super long terms. Well, 200, you're probably looking at 10 years, if I had to guess, you know, just on the top of my head. So... But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you got questions about it, um, give us a call. If you got a trade in, want to know about financing, give us a call, 706-965-7929. I know it's old school to call people instead of messaging them or emailing or text and all that stuff. But guys, we're old school type of place. That's how we do business is in person and on the phone. Um, I mean, you can certainly send emails if you want, but guys... Y'all have to realize my salespeople are very backed up. Most of the time, if you send an email and it doesn't have a phone number on it, it might not get answered. They prefer just to pick up a phone and talk to somebody on the phone. And um, nothing wrong with that. That's just the way we are. You know, I've got five salespeople. We sold, you know, 578 units last year, 610 the year before. I mean, these guys are busy. Even this time of year, I mean, we, we sold 12 last week. This week, we're probably going to beat that. So, I mean, we're still moving these things like crazy. I got a lot more coming in. I've, I've got, I, I'm, I pretty much showed all the motorhomes I have in stock, but I've got three or four that's waiting on furniture that I'll put online as soon as they get the furniture back from the poultry shop or... If we ordered furniture for it from Rec Pro or our buddies at Rec Pro for RV replacement furniture, which by the way, 
they probably got a sofa that'll look good in here that you can put in here and it'll fit right through. you know good thing about rv furniture versus house furniture it'll fit through the door without taking a window out so uh and look better too it won't look too bulky for the uh for the for, for what it is but like i said it'd be your fifth wheel you do what you want to with it uh put your desk a couch two chairs a media center put you a big screen tv back whatever you want to do guys as a matter as far as that's concerned you can actually take the table and chairs out of the slide out put a sofa in here and some tv trays and put you a big screen tv back there if you want to i mean the sky's a limit on what you can do um the only thing holding you back is your imagination so anyway guys thank you so much for watching and um Look forward to seeing you here. Beautiful Ringgold, Georgia. Oh, by the way, hit that smash. Smash me a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to my channel, RV's a Big Bow. Like my Facebook page under the same name. You can actually message me through there. I'm not in sales. I can't sell you one, but I can give you advice, answer questions. I've got 25 plus years experience as an RV owner and working at an RV dealership in pretty much every position that you can imagine. Uh, so I don't mind sharing some of that knowledge and um, All you gotta do is just send me a message to Facebook RV's a big bow Thank you again for watching and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia. Yeah, you know, I'll get everything right one of these days, but uh, uh, We do have delivery service available for a dollar fifty a loaded mile one way So if you're interested in that as well, give us a call. We'll get you We'll get you a quote uh, based off your address Thanks again for watching. Look forward to seeing you in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia. Now, I'm done this time for real. <laughs> See you on the next one, guys. Be good.